Hello Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players and Atesh Ordo here and today I'm going to be talking about tanks and I'm going to be talking about the top 10 tanks to take to Relic 9. Granted I will admit I'm not going to have Relic 9 probably for another year because <laughs> yeah resources are scarce and they just keep squeezing you out of resources just to get to Relic 8. And seven, and oh, I hope they've dressed this because oh boy, it's gonna take a while. But Relic Nine, I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna have. I my first Relic Eight was Boba Fett. My second one's gonna be Piet. I don't even know who's my third one's gonna be because I'm gonna focus on farming this guy here. But again, I'm gonna talk about top ten tanks to take to Relic Nine, and there's a huge Relic Nine increase. It's amazing. Um, now this is the character I won't have stats for based on my character's mods and stuff, but Hey, you know, you can play with the idea of it. And also I'm not counting Jedi master Luke on the list. Yes. He's a tank, but it's obvious. Take all your galactic legends to relic nine, because it's just going to make them bulkier, harder to kill and do more damage. So I'm going to start off with number 10. I'm going to start off with a two pair here. Anyways, Zalbar is really a tanky character. Um, especially with, you know, let's see, is this gains defense every time he takes damage. If you bulk him up with a lot of health and protection, get him up there in the hundred thousand range. Oh, hundred thousand health and or protection, or if you can get both with mods, great. Um, he's going to be really well with, um, well, I don't see him being used with older public. If you really, he's a character I wouldn't even, t you know, take nearest to relic but he's one of the few i wouldn't mind if i could take him to relic nine um just because i would use him. i would actually go uh best armor mando ig11 quill mission and zalbar together i would want that as a team a full relic nine team of that would be sick and amazing you got two tanks you got a healer um you got someone that buffs the team with damage and health and protection and stuff yeah, it's it's a nice team. It's a nice team to have, and he's going to be tanky. Scion, it's just for the Triumvirate. The Sith Triumvirate is great, especially with Darth Scion. Um, so I don't see why he wouldn't be a bad option at all. A lot of tanks are really good, especially if you have auto taunting tanks. But, like, Darth Scion's great with Treya to counter bugs and Mon Mothma teams. Um, but yeah, they're at 10, they're low up the list. I wouldn't recommend those as much. Number nine are all your rebel fighter tanks. Um, and it depends on which rebel fighter you use. Now, Cara Dune can go with rebels and or Besk Armor Mando. Um, you got Scarif Pathfinder for his ship. K2SO for his ship. Um, and just Baze Malibus just because, yeah, he's, he's tanky as all get out. So yeah, you got Bayes Malibus. Here's kind of stats, um, and then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get it to where I get the Discord thing set up so that I can kind of share off the uh, stats of each of these tanks if they were at Relic Nine with what my mods are set up as. Um, at least the health protection. I'm not gonna look too much into damage because they're tanks. Um, so yeah. So all these are really great, and of course, if you do go with like Rebel Scarif Pathfinder Relic Nine, uh, you're boosting this ship here. You're boosting the ship here. So um, these are just I, that's why I just stuck them all in one. I know I kind of cheated, but eh, it's whatever. I I don't see why not having um, the Rebel Fighters as an option. One or two of them take like especially if you go K2SO Cassian. Uh, or if you're using Cara Dune with Mon Mothma, you know, you're boosting the Mon Mothma team one way or another. That's great. Um, if you're boosting, uh, you know, yeah, heck, you could use all four of them. Take all four of them, Relic 9, take Mon Mothma to Relic 9, throw that back wall. As long as someone doesn't have Jawas, you're good to go. <laughs> so, uh, number eight is the two droids from General Grievous Squads. Um, there's a little higher just because, you know, it makes sense to have these guys, you know, tanky so they can keep like B2 sitting there with all the, 
high tenacity and potency, sitting there just mowing down, mowing down, keeping him alive. And then Magna Ma Ma Magna Ma Magna Guard, Magma Gall, <laughs> mixing up with Magma Trooper, I guess. Um, <laughs> you know, having him have a ton more stats. It's you know, make them tankiers for the General Grievous team to just go to town. Because if all the characters live. B1's the one that's topping all these characters back up enough when General Grievous eats the teammates' uh, health and protection. So, having them tank here is great. <laughs> Number seven, Ray Jedi Training. One of the interesting things is, is she is an evasion tank. So, it says deflect chance, dodge chance, health and protection. So, you're going to make her tankier, but you're also... This is one I will show go down. Dodge chance. I'm going to show off that. Of course, I will show off the uh, screen of her, but she's going to get a lot tankier, depending on how you build her, too. Like, you could technically build her with defense, a full defense set, because she has a built-in um, way to cleanse herself off. I think it was in this one. Yeah, I looked at the wrong one. Uh, way to cleanse herself off. She has some health and protection recovery, so you could probably go a full defense set if you actually run her with, like, Finn and make her stand out. R2 makes her stand out and takes the hit. She's going to evade a bunch. She's going to heal. She's going to do really well, so she's definitely worthwhile having a Relic 9. Um, next is number six. Uh, you got three. I'm, I'm pairing these three together. Two of them, Shore and Sith Trooper. Um, Shore and Sith Trooper makes sense because they, they're auto-taunting tanks. It never hurts. Never hurts to have these guys even tankier than before. Also, Shore Trooper it has a ship. So if you're actually running an Empire ship with Tarkin or Thrawn while bounty hunters are tied with, uh, uh, executor you got yourself a pretty good you know a, a more bulkier fleet if some of these characters are higher relics um sith empire trooper just is you know more durable he has a lot more health steal on him he goes up to about 30 percent health steal or 30 something health steal which is you know makes him so that he heals more uh, more effectively than before when he counters if he's under health and protection and then Royal Guard, just because you throw him under any Empire lead, especially with the new Lord Vader, he's going to just double up his health and protection. This is where my health and protection is. Um, and then obviously he can get even, you know, tankier than before. He spreads retribution, so he and Shore Trooper can counter. So there's a lot going on with those guys. So number five. L337, one, because of the ship, but two, because she's just a phenomenal auto-taunting tank. She keeps throwing, she keeps taunting up really well, so you make her as tanky as possible. She's going to be amazing, especially since, you know, she heals 50% of her max health when she has prepared to all scoundrel and droid allies if you do pair her with droids and scoundrels like if you use her like right now i'm using her with uh, best girl Armando. so the more health she has the more protection she has taking her to relic nine makes her just tanky tanky as all get out on uh, number six i'm key or i'm sorry number four i'm mostly pairing it for uh general kenobi uh just because of his ship you know you want to make him faster and better um, but making him even more tankier with more health and protection for Padme squads or even, uh, Jedi Master Kenobi squads, if you have him unlocked, that's not going to hurt at all. If you're not facing a mirror match, you know, he's not going to be dropped really quickly. He's going to actually stand up to some of the hits really, really well. So definitely look out for that. So, yeah, General Kenobi, definitely worth bulking up. And then Old Ben, just because he's a tank, he's used a lot with Rebels. Um, there's a lot of times he is used paired with um, Jedi or CLS uh, in, the, in, in, like, assault battles and territory battles. You know, those multi-tier things. So having him tankier, he'll last longer. 
he'll be able to, you know, tank for the team. Um, number three, here's here's the top three. These are all singles. I, th uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, no, yeah, they are singles. Number three is Bosk for his ship. But having a, a lot healthier tank, especially if you have them really fast, you know, if I, I still could work on my mods. I have to work on some more mods to get him even faster. Give him high tenacity, high durability, and then high speed. He's going to be amazing with bounty hunters. He's already amazing with bounty hunters, but you make him really fast. Get his taunt out there where he can frenzy and get going. Oh, he's amazing. You want him outrunning Grief Cargo. So he can taunt, throw up this taunt. Then Grief would call his assist. And then Boss would call his assist because he got the frenzy. And you pretty much most likely have Aura Singh uh, lead. Or even Dengar lead, depending on you know how that works out. You have those two uh, payouts active. Plus, again, since we have a ship that's, you know, the executor making a houndstooth even tankier that's that's just phenomenal too so yeah he is number three on the list number two oh this one was a pair that's right the only reason why i have wrecker on here is because the cam mission but fives is really the number two spot um wrecker would probably if it wasn't for the cam mission that he could be that secondary easier team to work with i would say you know throw you know throw, cam would pr or God, Wrecker would probably be anywhere between 10 and 8th place. Um, but aside from that, one, he has a ship. So fives, he has a ship. Plus, you know, you bulk him up to where he's going to hit. Hard, or he's going to add a lot more offense and a lot more durability. So that when someone triggers his sacrifice, he's going to make your 501st clones tankier and harder to kill. And you're basically game, set, match. Game, set, match for that. And again, like I said, I only threw record here just because of the cam mission. He's another option. And so you get a super tankier record. He's just, they're going to stick around. And number one, if you haven't guessed already, it's Malik. Malik just, he solos so much. And if you could get him super tanky. He is going to stick around the field and soak up a lot of damage and solo a bit more than what he's normally used to soloing. Um, as long as you mod him with high tenacity, you do want him high tenacity. You want him pretty fast. I have him pretty fast. I could still get him a bit faster if I had, you know, if I get some better mods in this. Like if I get like right there, 10 speed, I can get him to 320 range. Oh, he's going to be wicked, wicked fast. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Malik is phenomenal. You want to get him. I feel like he is literally the number one non-galactic legendary character to get Relic 9 if you want to Relic anything. Because you throw him under Sith Eternal, Sith Empire, his, you know, conversion of protection into health. You get his high protection, you know. And he'll have more health, too, by Relic 9. And then that extra protection, you add it together. He's going to be thick, thick. Plus, you're getting getting him more armor. You are getting him more damage, too, which that helps him, you know, deal with a lot. And luckily, I only have two Relic levels to get to Relic 9. But luckily, I'm not going to work on that right now. <laughs> yeah, all my resources are spread thin trying to Relic 8 Piet. And then Relic 8, or Relic 7, R2, Jedi Training Ray, and Jedi Knight Luke. As well as Relic 6, Haunted Chewy, and Relic 5, Ben Kenobi. Oh, man. It's just it's getting there. I probably won't be working on uh, Jedi, Jedi Master Luke until November, December range. <laughs> so, But thank you for watching. I really appreciate all those watch the videos I make. You know, Let me know what your list would be. Who would you put in the top 10 tanks? for Galaxy of Heroes to take to Relic 9. Um, but aside from that, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and you guys have a phenomenal day.